Hey everyone, I'm the Tom. Welcome to my gaming channel. And today I'm playing another episode of Grid Auto Sport. If it would actually. Wait, why is this not. Welcome okay, back, it works Tom. Now. Go and have a I'm look sorry at what about offers that. are available this season. Anyway. Uh, oh, we, we finished the last season? So we can. Actually, I really like the uh, Tuner series. I did not finish first here. So, uh, there's some modified and some drift action. You've got an offer here. from Cusco Racing off the back of last season. Looks like one to consider. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for Razor. We, or actually, we got an S2000, we got an RX7, and another S2000, whereas on Casco we have an S2000, an RX7, and another S2000. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for Razor. Good. And actually, guys, there's something I wanted to talk about right off the bat. You've probably noticed um, EA post on their Facebook page um, that they are ready for the next chapter. Or are you guys ready for the next chapter? Is what they posted yesterday. And of course, there will be another. Um, so there will be another Need for Speed part coming out either this year or next year. And since they said, are you ready for the next chapter? That might mean. And that is my hope uh, that it would be uh, that it would be the next part of of the Underground series, like Need for Speed Underground 3. If that is actually going to, if that is actually what ends up happening, I'm gonna be all over that game. Unless it's as bad as you know Need for Speed parts have been. In have been in the past years. I wasn't really a fan of pretty much anything that came after Carbon, and even Carbon wasn't, you know, that great. I I kind of enjoyed the uh, the second uh, Hot Pursuit, like the one that came in 2011 or so. That was kind of cool, but other than that, you know, Need for Speed World wasn't really that good. Like the other Need for Speed games, all of it kind of weren't what they used to be. It, like primary example is the run. Like if if you're gonna do a racing game, please make a racing game with cars and not the one where you have to run half the time. Like really, that's just uh, that's that's annoying. And it's not. I mean, it fits Need for Speed, yeah, because running is also, you know, faster than walking. But so is my, so is my grandma in her, in her uh, old um, like Austin time. Mini. You know, it's, uh, she's also faster than walking. So Stock would be faster than the stock, you know, on the Civic. But overall, the difference wasn't all that large. For example, there was no, uh, there was.
was no uh, Ferrari F50 there or something like that. There was no, uh, you know, there was no uh, Jaguar XJ220, there was no uh, Dodge Viper or anything like that, even though those cars existed back then. And uh, if, if Underground 3 would like to follow that tradition, I think they should they should really consider um, keeping the spirit of the underground, you know, like, um, they, they should uh, take moderately priced cars that are about at the same pace, especially when tuned and not go overly crazy with the tuning anymore that was. Okay, I'll take that back. You can go kind of ham on the tuning, but... Uh, But uh, the cars themselves, once they're all fully tuned, they should be somewhat comparable to each other. Unlike, you know, Need for Speed World, where, you know, if you had a fully tuned uh, Corolla, it might even, uh, it might even outpace uh, an untuned Lamborghini Murcielago around some tracks. And that is, you know, it, it might be realistic. However, um, if you have a fully tuned Murcia Lago and then you have an untuned, um, what was it? Yeah, McLe no, Pagani Sonda Cinque, uh, then the Cinque would just would just destroy you no matter what. And that's that's kind of crap. Like you can get the Murcia Lago, at least you could, um, for in-game cash, whereas you always had to buy the. Sonda Cinque for real cash, and that is, you know, pay to win mentality. And I don't want that in uh, in uh, Underground Free if it ends up happening, being Underground Free at all. So they might also include cars like the Suzuki Swift. It's a it's a pretty nice car. I can imagine it looking quite good um, with white body kits or so, like, you know, quote unquote good, but uh, what I would also like to see in there is like a BMW 325i from the E46 generation, not only because I love that car, but also because it would fit kind of the, the, the spirit of the game. Say it, uh, it puts out 192 horsepower, that is kind of average for the cars I expect to see in there. It's rear wheel drive, so it would be so it would have its advantages in the drift competitions, and you can you can white body kit it and make it basically look like a white body kit and free, which is not a ugly thing to look at. slightly behind pace but not by much and I might even be able to shave off a couple of extra turns in this very lap not like this though need to break earlier Maybe that 
was actually faster than he was. You can make up a second this lap. You could gain a place. Why am I always so bad in this particular corner? first races I actually didn't win, wasn't, wasn't it? Um, C2 Drift, okay. Event 2 or 3. So we might get through this season all in one video, which would be very exciting. Uh, yeah, but the races are getting more difficult. I can really tell you that much. We're currently fourth in the team standings. We're looking really strong right now. I'm gonna do a little bit of practice with this RX-7. Maybe I want to change something about the setup. I really do want to change something about the setup. Uh, let me go back. Vehicle tuning. Uh, I want this to be 100% locked. Then I want the front suspension to be significantly uh, softer. And then let's try again. I, I still got nine and a half minutes left on the practice, so... You picked up the outside marker bonus. Okay, so... There was a collision right there, but... Oh, 
Julian. I'm getting a bunch of uh, understeer upon entry, so I think I might want to change the brake bias and move it further to the front, like that. And uh, let's soften this all the way up, the front suspension that is, and go back to practice. I really don't want to lose this drifting. Again. Which is why I'm practicing right here. You got both the inside and the outside markers. Good control. Turn here to the paddock area, and we're actually gonna. Uh, do I wanna change the brake bars all the way to the front? Uh, yes, yes, actually, yes. And then we're ready to do the qualifying. Hopefully, I don't mess up here. Thank you. 
That's enough to go through to the final heats. Great drifting, okay. great control. First, actually, with those mistakes. Oh, yeah, but close. So I cannot afford to make more mistakes than I just made. Uh. I think I'm fine. These outlets is oh okay. What's that? Okay. So um, hopefully it goes well. You're in the lead position. Make good use of the head start. if I finish behind I lose unless I overtake him unless I also overtake him now when I'm chasing him that's just not gonna happen is really close to me in score so continue continue doing this as well as I am or better Though I admit, but overall, See you take this one too. You're chasing now. Sorry for not commentating on it because I was very focused. I was very focused on yeah, 1.8. 1.88 million score. That's just you know. I don't think anyone of the AI is gonna get close to that if I can repeat this performance. You're in the lead position. Make good use of the head start.
goes on. I should say. Um, it is normally a car that loves to drift. And sure, this one is great at drifting as well, but also it, it's got a good amount of understeer. If you, if you enter the corner ever so slightly too fast. So he actually, he actually uh, was my rival in the, in the final here. Complete a different without enemies, only did that twice. Okay, whatever. Tuner. So this is, an, this is another time attack race. I hope I can do well here. And it's gonna, and it looks like it's gonna be another one of those races where I drive the S2000. Yes, there it is. Uh, let's do one lap of practicing. Did I just see a Mustang now? stock or almost stock cars like like this like this one I really hope or I really wish there were more of these races in real life of course uh, there's a lot of uh, race events that I've never heard of and I don't know but uh, I would also uh, welcome them being shown on TV or something Because racing with with uh, cars that you might also find on the street is something that kind of something that very much interests me because this really isn't because that really wouldn't be you know a thing that only the privileged people can do because proper race cars are very expensive and it's great lap time competitive actually yeah. Whereas with, with with a race series like this, you would you would be able to say, hey, oh, I, I got uh, you know in this case an S2000, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to this and that race event next weekend, and that that would be awesome actually if, if that were a possibility, and it would be even better if they would accept you know cars like. An E46 BMW 323i or something like that. I'm just going to way too fast for that corner. Maybe I'll just do it. cost me some time. But overall I think this track is fine. It's not that difficult.
races with uh, stock or near stock cars, um, of course, you're, all, you're gonna say, oh, that's kind of what me you expect Need for Speed Underground 3 to be, right? Yeah, and that's why I'm so excited. I, I think, you know, I've stopped watching uh, Formula 1 a long time ago because I just think it's boring. Because all these cars, I mean, while they are incredible uh, technology, uh, technological achievement um, it is kind of boring because they're all so capable and all of the drivers are so uh, so yeah potent if you will that there doesn't really happen that much action not that much overtaking um, once you know Lewis Hamilton or Sebastian Vettel in his, in his uh, best times gets a pole position and gets a head start, the race is basically over. And uh, I, I just... I just like uh, these, these uh, classes more for, you know, the fact that they're more open, that there's more variety in cars, cause, because stock cars are allowed within a certain range of, you know, within a certain uh, range of performance, obviously, because can't compete, uh, say, a Lamborghini Aventador with, uh, with you know, a, uh, a Ford Mustang EcoBoost. You can't compare those two cars. That being said, you can, for example, uh, compare a Ford, Ford Mustang EcoBoost with something like a BMW 328i. Of, of with, uh, you know, other Japanese cars, I'm not that well informed about, you know, the GT86 wouldn't really be a match for for those cars, I think, and yeah, maybe it would, let's count it in, or you could also run a, a Subaru WRX in that, in that class, there would be so much more variety, and you know, each car has its own uh, strengths and weaknesses, whereas in Formula 1 there's not really that, that much room for variety. The rules are very strict and of, of what the car is allowed to and is not allowed to have or be. And, and therefore I, I wish for, more, for a more tolerant racing series that would probably always be kind of uh, interesting to watch I think was just me being especially greedy on the father, exceptionally greedy, I should say, and yeah, how's this going? I'm actually quite far ahead now, I wasn't that much and that far ahead, I was actually uh, behind before that, but now let's just not make any mis mistakes and uh, finish this lap appropriately and hopefully in the lead. One second ahead, this should be it. Brakes and on and in the corners. 
So, we, we won this race as well. You finished the season on a high and hit your team target. <laughs> Completed time attack event without collisions, that's great. Finish hard in 12 in a drift event. Did I not do that? Yeah, there's the Mustang again. Uh, in a drift event, beat Eric Peterson. I did actually. Oh, okay, because I beat everyone. Um, end of season eight. You've made a real impact in this discipline. It's only going to get tougher from here, but you're showing you've got what it takes. Oh, tuned this open. That looks interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll be back with some more tuner seasons next time. If you enjoyed this episode, There's please click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Available. Also consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.